Yep. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Thank you, thank you. 2020 Chevy. Yeah. Lizzie got sick. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. But she's good now. So. Yeah, she messaged me the other day out of the blue. Right? It was right after I did the remote in Verno. Nice. So I don't know if it alerted Sandy and all of them, or she just has really good timing. I believe the good timing. Okay. Now I record my rides or drives for YouTube. Oh. So. First time I thought it was like a back camera app or something at first. No. That'd be cool. Yeah, I actually have the backup oh. camera on this. It is nice. Everything but cruise control. It's the next level up of the one I have. <laughs> this is the 31st ride on for September 9th of the year 2023. Let me know if you need anything adjusted or... No, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, ironically, most of the ride-along videos the last couple of weeks were cloudy like this. I don't know how that happens. Like, every time I go out, it's always cloudy. Very, very rarely is there a sunny day where the video is, like, bright and beautiful. It's random and weird. And nobody seems to mind, so can't complain. Yeah. Now, one of the friends online and I are... Racing to 500 for the modernized, modernized, monetization. And he's got 120, and I'm right now stuck at 117. Almost. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not not too bad. <coughs> well, this is what people like, so it's like, okay, I'll keep doing it. I'm not going to too many different places. It's just every day is a different journey, different vehicles around me, and, uh, Different people with me. Obviously, this is your first time with me, so that's pretty cool. How am I doing so far? Pretty good, pretty good. There you go. You want to introduce yourself or say anything or no? Hello, I'm Eric. Hello, Hello. YouTube. Hey, awesome. I don't know if you get to the worlds or uh, grounds here. Uh, they have the annual uh, weekly car show every Monday. Yeah, I don't know what time they. I never see it because I'm usually not over here. But oh, it's um four to eight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm long gone before oh, that happens. Gotcha. Now I gotta go to the UPS around the corner on, uh, um, not Sweet Home, Young's. Young's? God, I always forget that side street. Robinson. He's Robinson. How'd I get Young's? That's weird. Yeah, there's a uh, UPS. I have to go drop something off that. So, 
in the in the back. Mailing something out? No, actually returning something. Uh, uh, this one piece of tech was supposed to wirelessly uh, work with my old mouse and keyboard, and it didn't. So and it's like okay. The nice part is Amazon is such an easy return nowadays. Well, almost anything is nowadays, which is nice. I actually built a laptop, or like a laptop recently, a computer recently with Geese Quad's help and used parts a friend gave me and then parts that I bought. So ended up building a thousand dollar computer for like Hmm, under a thousand, maybe like seven? No, that's not bad. Yeah. It's a great deal. It was uh, all Amazon Prime Day stuff too, so that's a awesome plus. It happened. You live near me, don't you? In that uh, yeah, I live by the post office on oh. Gallandry. Yeah. I moved, I think it was two days after the interview. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was very... Chaotic. Yes, it was. But life is not chaotic, so anymore. Hopefully? Hopefully, okay. yeah. Most of my time is spent traveling Niagara Falls Boulevard, just eating, shopping, and working out, so. Right. That's what I like the most about the NFA. I hate this intersection. Same. I hate it. Yep. Nine times out of ten, I always forget that I can always go go through the parking lot to get to where I need on the other side, but 
I do it the other way. I go down East Robinson and then hmm. stupidly through the parking lot for no reason. Oh no. Let's change. Mm. Y'all moved into your new place? Yeah, all settled in. That's good. Liking it so far? Yeah, so far. That's good. Got some really great homes over there. Really antique ones. Yeah, too. it's it's an old town. Nice. Some colonians over there too, which is even makes it nicer of a community. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Feel free to come in if you like. If you yeah, sure. <laughs> Just sit here and watch traffic all day. It's <laughs> fun. This is where I usually get my creamers too for coffees. They always have a good sale going on. Yeah. I guess it's the one advantage to working at a grocery store myself. I can just grab what I need and I still go to Aldi for a lot too. Yeah, same. They're cheaper than us by a lot of stuff. Mm hmm. Uh yes. My mom and I were just at Aldi's actually. I don't think I've ever even been in this one. Oh. 
Yeah, my mom and I usually come here. But, um, we don't normally get too much because, uh, I don't have normally too much. I never seem to find anything. I don't know why. Any good plans for the upcoming week? Um, hmm. Yeah, I got nothing really. I think I'm available tomorrow, actually, after I get out of work. Okay. I don't know if... No, that's fine. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, I'm not sure what Lizzie's got going on. I haven't really spoken to her much. I didn't even know she was sick. Lizzie and I usually meet on Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's fine. What is it? Samsung? Huh. Believe it or not, I don't remember. Yeah, I upgraded. About, not even, maybe a month ago. Yeah. I had a... What? No, it was just like, yeah? I had a... I had the Galaxy S8. Ooh. A really old... Well, not old. Yeah, but the Galaxies are really good. Yeah, but it's... I think it was about four years old, and it was still worked fine, but the yeah. charging ports were just going. Oh. And I had already replaced it once, and I'm like, oh. at this point, I could keep doing this once a year, or I yeah. could just upgrade the phone itself. That's true, yeah. So I jumped from straight talk, I went to Spectrum, and wow. the kid goofed up, which oh, benefits me, because I got, oh. I traded in the old phone, yeah. and I was going to get the S23, oh, yes. and I didn't notice it. Yeah. Until like a day when I went to buy a case for it. He, yeah. Because I bought the case and the case didn't fit. Oh, jeez. And then I had to look at it. And I'm like, oh, he gave me the S23 Ultra or the Whoa, Plus no. by accident. And I'm only paying for the, I'm not correcting him. No. But I mean, at the same time, he they also didn't give me my SD card back. Oh. And I was kind of annoyed by that. But I'm like, well, yeah. everything I need is on various social media so that exactly. I can get back. Yeah. But I was like, all right, whatever. Man. Yeah. So I great i think uh next year i'll be doing the gal the uh google phone that's my plan for next year but yeah that that's a really cool uh life hack yeah <laughs> I don't even bother going to other plazas anymore because everything I need is right here. Except for like tech stuff, I usually go to Best Buy or I'm on Amazon. So. That's honestly, that's one plaza I don't go to that often. Uh, I am there on a weekly basis, if not daily. That wasn't there five years ago. No, that's, I don't remember what was here before. That, yes, I do. I am trying to think. A local company that went out of business. Yeah. Fencing place, a fencing place. I don't remember the name. But they closed up because of, I want to say unpaid, unpaid taxes, but I could be wrong. Regardless, they went out of business because the feds wanted them for something. I 
And that used to be a Pizza Hut. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad someone else remembers that. That I do remember. Uh huh. There's a McDonald's in the city. That one closed down years ago because of COVID, I assume. Oh, and it's yes. still, the building is still there. There, yes. And it's interesting because they can't open anything in that building unless no, they tear it down. Because it's strictly for uh, McDeeds. Yeah, because yep. they, they have the shade copyrighted, which is a silly. It's. I never thought that was a thing. But yeah, I guess the old mayor of the city of Tonawanda was trying to negotiate with McDonald's to be like, can we just keep this so we don't have to use taxpayer money to rip it down and build something new? And I don't know. It's still vacant. I don't know whatever became of it. I think they should just put another McDonald's there at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. You know what I really miss about McDonald's? And you know me, I don't eat much fast food anymore. I loved the McDonald's soup. The really? Bro the broccoli soup. Yeah. Huh. From like 90s. Well, no. Like, how long ago? 90s to 2005, maybe? Something like that. Well, probably, I think it was 80s to 2000. I can't remember. I don't remember McDonald's soup. Oh, dude, you missed a good generation of soup. You missed a great generation of soup. I remember they had a sandwich called the Big and Tasty, and that was pretty good. But it was basically just the Whopper. Oh. Or their take on it. It was yeah, it was just ketchup and mayo and Huh. Yeah, but it was really just a whopper or their, you know, version of it. Interesting. I had I'm trying to think. The Italiano at Jim Martin's, that was a good sandwich. It was pepperoni, mozz cheese, onion. And then they changed it to pesto. And then after they changed it to pesto, um, they got rid of it. And then the other sandwich I like a lot is the Burger King chicken parmesan sandwich. Yeah, that's a good one. They yes, have okay. The, they have another Italian one too. It's not the same, but no. I used to. What else did? Burger King used to do that sourdough king, and that was okay for yeah. like the first summer. And then I tried it again, and I was like, ah. I'm I know it seems like it, it to me, and it sounds like to you too. It really um, they want you to buy it the first season, and then after the first season, it gets like pretty sucky. You think that? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking too. No, actually, uh, Pizza Hut is coming back to Western New York. There's two in Buffalo or one in Buffalo? I know there's one on Delaware. Okay. By... Well, there's a lot of stuff by it. I know yes. it's across from Kingpin Comics. Okay. There's one there. It's a small little hole in the wall. It doesn't have, like, the red roof or anything. Yeah. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, there was no eating in that one. That's right. And there's also, there's still one in Allegheny County near Wellsville. It's an actual pizza hut. And my parents and I got pizza when we were at the cabin down there. So, well, it was a good time. I was bugging Sandy the whole time to get the pizza. <laughs> He's like, okay, shut up. I'm like, all right, thank you. Now, my friend uh, who runs the store is an uh, antique, somewhat antique dealer, but will take all your junk stuff, junk, whatever. And um, he likes boxes, so I give him my empty boxes from... Uh, Uh, orders. Do you have any empty boxes lying around? Oh, that's a shame. I just got rid of a bunch. No. Right well, they oh, I gave them yeah. to somebody to use. Oh, good. It's not like yeah, they okay. got just junked. Yeah. All right. All right. 
Well, if you have any future orders, I'm more than happy to take them to my friend. All right. He's actually above the adult daycare in the uh, city of Taiwanda, which oh. is where we're heading. Yeah. I know where that is. Oh, okay. Probably went by it. Most likely. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not today, but I, I, I know the area. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting little food truck. <laughs> I haven't seen it before. Let's go up, Oliver. That's fine. Let's not get hit by the truck. <laughs> yeah, I got in a semi or a small accident when I was some other intersection around here. I was leaving that cafe yeah. where the church was, and someone blew through one of the stop signs. And technically, I T-boned them, oh, so geez. I pulled over and they just took off because they blew the stop sign. And I was like, well, that was a dumb move on their part because they could have played it off like I hit them. But I don't know. Sat and waited. I don't know. They were gone. Yeah. Still no damage Good. to me anyway. I mean, there's yeah. some paint missing and I had to buy a new uh, license plate holder for the front yeah. of the car. But that was it. No one got hurt. That's good. I mean, I don't know about them, but they bolted. They were. Oh, well. Yeah, pretty much. Years ago. What are you yeah. going to do about it now? Right. I, mean, I didn't even file it. What's the point? It's just going to. Mm -hmm. up my insurance for nothing that really need, needed to be repaired. Yeah, that makes sense. Were you in <coughs> Niagara County or Huey County for that blizzard? Oh, I was in Erie. See, he got blasted? Yes. Um, back door of my apartment, completely couldn't do nothing about it. Front, I could get outside, nowhere yeah. to go. I had to, like, I don't know. Obviously, I was trapped inside for most of Christmas Eve. Same. I, um... I don't know, it sucked because, like, my sweet, you know, Christmas is a big deal for my family. No, okay. We were going to do cookies the Friday before, Chinese food and stuff, then Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day, and we didn't get to do, well, we, I was able to get out Christmas Day, but yeah. that's only because my brother-in-law was, he has a big 4x4, four four. he was oh, able to get through it. Yeah. Well, once the snow, like, stopped at, I was like, 9 p.m. Christmas Eve, I was like, oh. Yeah. Finally, it was such a relief knowing like we can now just shovel ourselves out. Luckily, Walmart closed on the Monday after Christmas, giving us all an extra day to nice. dig out. Congratulations. Yeah. It doesn't happen often. No, it does not. One of my favorite main streets here in West New York is this one. Don't get me wrong, I like other main streets, but this is really homey and yeah. pretty much USA-ish. It's the best you can get. Plus the historic architecture here. 
in this particular part of it. It's kind of cool because yes. you can tell like decades and decades ago when they made all this like the Absolutely. They had no intention of, you know, other businesses opening in it. So when you go and look at the ground and there's a business with their name in the floor tile for yes. 60 years, it's just cool. It's uh, I love it. They must have thought they'd be there forever, but well, I don't know if you've heard, but Walgreens is going out of business. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's... I did not know that. Uh, so it's Rite Aid and someone else. Uh oh So it's all up to, like, Walmart and uh, locally here, Tops, to handle all the prescriptions. But that's not the case, or not the thing I was getting to. Um... Walgreens started both in the early 1900s, and they were officially heading out of business, which is sad. And it started as a family-owned business before it went corporate. Look familiar by any chance? What specifically, though? Oh, the many the area you said you've been around here. Yeah. Yeah good time mm. yeah. oh. nah that was Joe's small business yeah I've walked by this building a lot and I've never really it's bigger than you think that Kelly's Heroes poster I think that came from another antique shop in the area. Okay. I think, because it used to be in the one with that red kind of banner above it. Because I used right. to go in there a lot, too. Well, the, this is technically the same place as... Um, the, uh, he used to own uh, Sports from the Past, which was around the corner from his... Um, spot he has now and it's half the size of what he has now maybe you saw it there maybe sports from the past yeah we actually went by it going hmm. up the one side street I just forgot the name of yeah he moved you moved from where he was up that side street over there. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of rem it stuff pops up a lot. Yeah. Around here, I remember. I think it's um, it's on Webster. I think they painted it pink. And it's like a news place now, or it was a news place, but they it used to be like a trading card shop. Okay. So like Magic the Gathering and stuff. I used to go there when I was like twelve. Nice. And that's, man, that's I yeah. I think now it's like a photography. Something like that. I don't know. Okay. They painted it pink, but of course, like the evening news sign is still engraved into the building, oh, which is yeah. kind of neat. Yes. I was walking up the stairs to his place. I'm like, ow, ow, mm. my knees. And it's like that time of year again. Okay. Usually when it gets cold, my knees start to bother me. I'm like, anyway. It's kind of why I don't do the leg press anymore because it rocks my knees. Yeah, I had a coworker years ago. He, like burned his hand at McDonald's when he worked at McDonald's and every time his hand gets like cold he says it's hard to move it yeah I don't really know at the time I thought maybe he was just making an excuse but um, I mean, he was that kind of guy I don't know yeah hard that, to say hmm that's unfortunate though if that was a case. yeah
You know, it's not supposed to rain in Niagara County or lanes or parts of Erie County, so it's just crazy overcast like it's going to be yeah. constant. It's going to be nice and cool, though, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's 67 degrees, it's overcast, it's west of New York, it's a lovely day. I can't believe those people just almost went through a red light. I can believe it. I mean, it happens a lot. I, I do, but I'm like, why? What is so important that you have to jump a red light? And my grandma lives in this one, the 29. Hmm. I always got to go by and see if she's out. No. Fucker is where it should be. I actually, Sandy goes up the street too to get to my place most times, or to take my brother home. She too um, looks in on my grandma. Oh, that's nice. Eh. Well, yes, it's nice that Sandy does that, but not my grandma. But oh. that's a story for a different day. <laughs> oh, I hear that. He has one of the worst roads in Niagara County. Which one? Nah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Niagara is pretty. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why the gotten that or the light is that bad. It's like seriously.
typical plans for the rest of the day? Um, yeah, I'm heading downtown. Nice. Yeah. I don't go down there too often. Mm. Well, can't make it too late of a night. I'm going to be up at 4 for work tomorrow. Ouch. Yeah. That uh, is what it is. You get, I got used to that pretty quick. Mm, good. Anything good going on downtown or just... I'm heading to town ballroom. Nice. That's right. a very good area. Yeah. It was funny. There was a picture. Well, I think it was in Wegmans. They have the pictures of one of downtown, ones of the Homestead Bridge. Mm -hmm. and the other one's something in NT. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. And the town ballroom, it's just cropped out of the one picture. <laughs> I am... Oh, there's a black squirrel right there. Yeah, they've been migrating south for some weird reason. The last decade. I don't know why. Black squirrels are Canadian. Oh. Yeah, I used to see them at the falls a lot. Yeah, they're just migrating more and more south, interestingly. accidentally drove by your house when I was on the way over. Huh, whatever. I was kind of, I knew it was, yeah, 73. Yeah. So I was looking at the numbers and it went from like, yeah, 1,500 uh -huh. and then randomly it was like seven. I was like, uh-oh. And I noticed yeah. it too late and I, yeah, had to turn around. No worries. Yeah, as soon as you hit town of Weefield, it goes to the 7,000s. I parked in a good spot, right? Yeah. I was gonna, okay. No. Ooh, I did that completely wrong. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was bad. That was actually the worst I've ever done. Backing up. There's some dumbass. 